Hi, I'm Kim O'Rourke. Do you love half square triangles, but you just don't really know how to make them? Like, how do you cut out those triangles and sew them together anyway? So let me show you. I'm going to teach you how to do it right now and we're going to do it real time and we're going to do it together. So let me switch cameras so that you can see the fabric on my board. Just one moment. There we go. So what we've got here is our two squares. Now, if we want to finish, we need to start by working out what we want our finished size to be. So if we want our finished size to be a three inch square when it's all sewn together, um, that's our, our triangle. So if we want this when it's sewn together to be a three inch square, we need to cut out these squares to be seven eighths of an inch bigger. So your rule is always going to be seven eighths of an inch bigger than your finished size. That's once it has been sewn together. And that's it doesn't matter what size you want to finish with. You just add seven eighths of an inch. Now, that is really easy when you want a three inch or a four inch or a five inch finished um, square. But how on earth do you start adding up three and a half inches plus seven eighths of an inch? Because quite honestly, I don't know. However, I do know <laughs> if you go onto the apps function on your phone where you download all your apps, you will find in there a fraction calculator. And if you download that, it is completely free. Download that fraction calculator and you can add all manner of fractions to your heart's content and you will thank me forever. It has been a bit of a lifesaver for me. So you wanna be cutting your squares. We've got two contrasting colors here. Um, those two there make this finished um, half square triangle block there. So we want to cut our two squares, three and seven eighths of an inch. That'll give us a finished size of three um, three inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting, let's just move these out of the way for a moment. Let's put that there. We're going to start by putting our lighter of the two fabrics face down. So we want right sides together on our two fabrics and place one square on top of the other. It just makes your life a bit easier if the lighter one is on top. You'll see why in a moment. You want to make sure that your edges all line up nicely. There's no poking out bits anywhere. And then you want to get a ruler and a pencil. Now you can use a patchwork ruler, but I find just a standard stationary ruler a lot easier. It's just thinner and it means that we can draw our line a lot more accurately. And that line is what we're going to do now. So we're going to put this um, ruler from opposite diagonal corners on this on the lighter side and this is why you need the lighter side just so you can see a pencil line so we're going to line that up from one corner to the other corner and then we're going to draw ourselves a thin pencil line okay so can you see that there it doesn't need to be um it doesn't need to be very hard or very dark it's just enough for you to see so that's what we're going to do now and then we're going to use that to guide us for sewing in the minute so i'm going to pause this and uh, by the wonders of the magic of technology i'm going to switch to having my sewing machine here so you can see what we're going to do next so i'll see you in one second there we go we're back told you it was magic didn't i <laughs> so here's our square we've still got our right sides together we've got our drawn pencil line across the middle and this is what we're going to use to guide us with the sewing we're not going to sew along that line though it becomes our guide so I want you to pretend that this is now your raw edge of your fabric and we're going to put it against the edge of the foot of your machine now you'll notice here I've got a standard foot on this machine that's because my machine does an automatic quarter inch foot or it's got a setting for a, a quarter inch seam so check with your machine um, because it, the instructions because you may find that you've got a quarter inch seam already built in if not you'll have to use your standard quarter inch piecing foot but either way we want to sew with a quarter inch seam so we're going to start and we're going to put that pencil line against your the edge of your foot just as if that was your raw edge but we're going to start sewing slightly off the fabric because we want to be making sure that we've caught all the fabric in our sew line so if i pop 
my foot down. My needle is just off the fabric for a moment. It won't harm your machine doing that. And we're gonna sew with that pencil line against that edge of the foot. I'm just double checking that I'm on my quarter inch seam because that could be a bit disastrous, but it is. And I'm going to sew down here. Nice and accurately. There we go, and off the end. And I'm gonna turn that around so you can see I've got um, a quarter inch seam there. So I've got a sew line and we've got our pencil line there. I'm gonna do exactly the same from the other side. So turn it around and get that pencil line against the edge of your foot. Start sewing just slightly off the fabric so you do catch either end. So down there. Okay. So we've now got two sew lines uh, with our pencil line down the middle. And I'm going to take my machine away and we'll get back onto the cutting mat and I'll show you what to do next. So here we are back at the cutting table with our squares that we've sewn together with our two sew lines, sew lines and our pencil line down the middle. And all we're going to do next is take our patchwork ruler and our rotary cutter and we're going to carefully, I'm just going to twist this a little bit because <laughs> I'm standing at an angle to this so I can cut it properly. So we're going to um, line up our ruler from opposite corner to opposite corner on the diagonal right along that pencil line the one that you've just drawn. And I'm going to cut along that line. And I'm gonna have two triangles. You see, you don't need to sew triangles together at all. And as I open those up and press those out, you will see that you have got two little blocks so from two squares we'll make your two blocks and you can put those in any patterns that you would like obviously press them first before you start sewing them together so that is how you make half square triangles hope that's been helpful and i'll see you all in the next video bye for now